Hi, everybody. I'm Scott Davenport, and in this On One short clip, I get to share with you a few things I'm excited about in On One Photo Raw. On One was nice enough to share with me an early build. So it is an early build, so some of the interface might not be complete. You may see missing artwork, uh, but there's enough in here that I'm already uh, getting excited about the different possibilities that we have here. So first and foremost is speed. I have 36 megapixel photos from an A7R, a Sony A7R, and these are popping up instantaneously when I go into the new develop module. And you've seen this in some of the other teaser videos before. Everything is just super smooth, and this is just happening instantly. I've been running this on both an iMac and an older MacBook laptop, and the performance is just you know phenomenal. It's wonderful. Can't say enough good things about it. Now, a second aspect of speed is not just I'm working with these sliders here. Let's go ahead and maybe just pop up a couple more things so we can see that there have been some changes there. Is going over into effects from develop. It just happens right away. And I'm already in there adding in some of my favorite filters like dynamic contrast or like the color enhancer. And this is just fantastic speed. It's really nice being able to bounce between develop and effects without having to render changes or have things you know committed or baked in. So you're in develop and you're adjusting things and you saw I played with contrast here. It's like, ah, oh, I wasn't getting enough contrast. Let me pop over and add in dynamic contrast and get you know, that punch that I like to have in my photos. Something else that's great, as you just saw what I did there, I disabled dynamic contrast, which is at the bottom of my filter stack. It's no longer the case that you have to work your filters from bottom up. Let's just add one more filter in here, like a split tone. Um, and I happen to just accidentally drag that into the wrong position. Let's drag that up. There we go. I can change anything no matter where they are. So if I wanted to change the tint, I'm doing that in the middle of the stack. I can go down and add more contrast at the bottom. And I get to see all of the changes that I've made to the photo without having to disable everything up on top and then play around with contrast, hope I got it right, re-enable color, re-enable split tone. None of that has to happen anymore. The major point, you can change anything you want to anywhere at any time, and it's just really beautiful. A couple of UI things that I'm happy about too. Um, one is that curves are front and center in develop. This used to be buried underneath the tone enhancer filter. And now everything here, including the channels being you know one click away, all of this stuff is just right at our fingertips with the uh, this new curves adjustment in develop. So if you're uh, into curves, this is a really nice thing. And I also showed you the color enhancer. There is a tweak here that I'm really happy about. The color ranges, they're just one click away. There's not a pull down anymore. That was cumbersome. This is nice. I can just go to the different color channels I need to work with. And I have, you know, it's more fluid. It's just a much more fluid experience than having to interrupt my thought process, dragging down um, words in a pull down. I've got colors. I'm thinking in color. I see colors. So that's another, you know, it's a little tweak, but it's, it's important. And it's, um, it's something I know I'm going to use time and time and time again. And those small things coupled with major things like speed have got me really excited about Photo Raw. So I'm pretty sure you're excited about it too and really want to get your hands on it. Hang in there. It's coming soon. Thanks a lot.